Hi, everybody. My name is Terry, and welcome to Terry with a twist. So, what prompted today's video? I have heard of people who love another era so much that they actually live like that today. And usually, it when I hear about it, it's like the 50s or 60s. And at some point, we'll get into that. But this time, it's actually a Victorian couple living like that every day, like it's today. So let me just, it's only a couple of minutes. Um, I'll share that with you. And uh, see what everybody thinks. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I'm Sarah Christman. And I'm Gabriel Christman. And we're the Victorian couple. Well, we really love the Victorian era because it was a very dynamic time. And also it was a time characterized by optimism. People had this idea that the world is getting better and better every day and we can make it a better place. So we should. We also love the aesthetic of the Victorian era. I think a lot of people are attracted to the style, the design, and the technology. There were two things I wanted when I was a little girl. I wanted to live in the Victorian era, and I wanted to be a writer. When I grew up, I found a way to do a little bit of the time travel, kind of, and to let it help my writing. And so when I'm writing about things I do every day, it gives them a very firm reality. So I ended up working as a librarian, which ends up being perfect for us. I get to help connect people with things that they're interested in. And I particularly love to just encourage people to go further with their interests, as we are doing. We haven't missed any of the modern technologies that we've given up. Our house... Dad interesting i mean i i find it interesting it's you know like i'm i might have been like the victorian era i i like the victorian era i wouldn't want to live in it <laughs> you know i wouldn't want to live in it and maybe visit once in a while but live without the modern technologies that that we have today no i, I don't think so i wouldn't want to give up my cell phone or you know, for some people, this might be the simpler way, um, a happier way. I guess for some of us, we just like to live in the modern way. Let's keep watching. It does have electricity. Electricity was something that was coming in in the 1880s and 90s. And it was here when we bought the house. Yes. And the light bulbs that we use are, are period light bulbs with carbon filaments and such. And, part of and they're mostly for when we have company. Yes. One of the things that first drew us to the late Victorian period was the clothing. I think that interests a lot of people. So all of our clothes are copied from originals that we have. In the 19th century, people had different clothes for different activities, and so do we. I've always loved bikes. I've always loved the way that they've got you out into the world, the way they connected you to other people. The feeling is very different. Riding on an ordinary, you're high above the ground, you're about the, the same height as you would be sitting on a horse, and you get a great view and everyone sees you. Could you imagine? I don't know, when I say could you imagine, it's like, first, could you imagine being this couple, right? And everyone is, uh, I don't think they're making fun of you. I think they're like, wow, look at this couple. Odd, but, you know, somebody you might want to get to know and get to know why. But the people who are watching, I really think when they, like, like if I were to see this couple, it would certainly put a smile on my face. The reason that we do all these things is to bring ourselves a little closer to the past. And one thing is that food is a way to really directly connect. Mm -hmm. Food is something that everyone understands and everyone can experience. 
but it's a very direct connection. The flavors and the smells and everything are something that you can directly experience. The old cooking utensils and the old cooking appliances are wonderful. I love using the wood stove because it's so easy to control, so much easier to control than an electric stove. I really love my rotary egg beater too because it's you can see exactly how it's working. It's mechanical, there's no mystery to it. It's no magic black box. I think a lot of people have something that they really want to do deep in their heart, but they don't because they're afraid of what everyone else will say. And so part of what we do is we try to set an example to people that whatever your dreams are, they are possible. So you should go for them. You know, it's almost like this is a form of role play that you live if it puts a smile on my face to see them like that you know living like that and like wow so that's what it was like and they have a smile on their face because they are living that way and enjoy living that way then you know everyone's happy and everyone's smiling and maybe it is not just was an optimistic time, but maybe if you are those pre people or are those people who are watching those people, maybe things become a little bit more optimistic for you too. Anyway, just remember, don't get it twisted. <laughs>